Hey everybody, welcome Hello. Back to a Brit Pop's reaction on BP1 and BP2. Here we are. Today we are reacting uh, back on the Long Pom Studio Sessions with Taylor Swift. Um, we did one before, a yeah. short interview followed by a song of Epiphany. Epiphany? He's just had an epiphany. Um, yes, this is for our lovely uh, new VIP uh, patron. Uh, just joined us over there, Amanda. Uh, and if you're a new VIP, you get to do a uh, request. So for you um, and uh, Amanda, she requested this one. It's, she popped us a little note. It says, for my free uh, request as a VIP, I would like you to do a deeper, uh, a deeper song of Taylor Swift's that is near to my heart because it is one of the t on her two albums she released during COVID. The song is Epiphany, and I would like you to do the long pond sessions with the small interview included. I was a nurse during COVID, and as you can expect, it hit us all healthcare workers harder than many of us can express. And this song was yes. her tribute to us, and she hit the nail on the head. This song still gives me emotional, gets me emotional when I hear it. Uh, so thank you, Amanda, for joining us on our Patreon channel and for uh, requesting this one. We do like Taylor Swift. We were we do, impressed yeah. when we saw the, Taylor, the um, Long Pond Studio um song that she did before so looking forward to this one very much shows all right let's see what the interview is i think i really felt like there should be a string moment on the album because we were towards the end of it and it was all very piano and acoustic and you're so good with string arrangements and you know bryce is i mean a genius and i kind of felt like there should be a moment where there's a song that was unlike anything I'd done before and could really kind of exercise that muscle that I know that you have. And I couldn't, I, I, when I heard it, I remember thinking maybe I want to tell a sports story because <laughs> I, I had just watched The Last Dance. <laughs> I was, yeah. And I was thinking all oh, in yeah. terms of sports and winners and underdogs and things like that. But actually Jordan what I had been doing documentary. really mm -hmm. frequently up at up until that point was I had been doing a lot of research on my grandfather who fought in World War II at Guadalcanal, which was um, an extremely bloody battle. Mm. And, you know, he, he never talked about it, not with his sons, not with his wife. Nobody got to hear about what happened there. And so mm. my dad had to do a lot of research and he and his brothers did a lot of digging and, and found out that, our, you know, my granddad was exposed to some of the worst situations Training, you yeah. could ever imagine as a human being. And so I kind of tried to imagine what would happen in order to make you just never be able to speak about something. And then I, when I was thinking about that, I realized that, that there are people right now, you know, taking a 20 minute break in between shifts at a hospital who are having this kind of trauma happen to them right now that they will probably mm. never want to speak about you know and so i just kind of thought like this is this is an opportunity to maybe tell that story the way you weave that together where there's remembrance and bearing witness to your family's history but then recognition of who the heroes are today so moving and i tried the sense of harmony in that song is really different than other songs and again it was as though we did it in the same room and yeah. like worked out the chords and everything and how you sing to it is, feels different than any other song. And it was another moment where it just felt like I was just thankful to be a musician or like, this is why I play music. Yeah, know, I felt that like, way with this song too, um, where it was just like, how did this, how did this slot into place and come together? I, I often feel with this album, like there have been times in my life where things have fallen apart so methodically um, and I couldn't control how things were going wrong mm. and nothing I did stopped it and I felt like I had just been pushed out of a plane and was like scratching at the air on the way down and like I felt like just like the universe is just doing its thing it's just dismantling my mm. life and there's nothing I can do and this is a weird situation where ever since I started making music with you I felt like that was like the universe forcing things to fall into place perfectly. And there was nothing I could do. Yeah, It's one makes of those you... weird things that makes you think about life a lot, where, you know, this lockdown could have been a time where I absolutely lost my mind. And instead, I think, you know, this album was like a real flotation device for both of us. Mm -hmm. 
Brilliant. Very, very well said. And it, it, isn't it great incredible. to see, you know, like I say, two two musicians talking about something that they both worked on in different rooms, but come to the same, make something great. I mean, and you can also sort of think of Bernie and, and Elton John, you know, some of the beautiful songs that they've made together, totally separate. One does the lyrics, one comes up with the melody, you know, the, the tune, and they make these great pieces of music. So this will be lovely to hear. Um, funny, mm. isn't it? Listening back to people talking about lockdown in that now, we yeah. kind of moved on, and it's like it never happened, and wasn't that yeah, long ago? I mean, no, it wasn't. You know, and it was all very strange. You know, when we we, we were talking about it yesterday, actually, uh, yeah, walking the dog. You know, you're walking a dog, a dog, and someone else is walking towards you, and you had to sort of move over for the two meters or whatever uh, to, to, to walk. You know, it's just it's just mad, isn't it? You've done that, and yeah. you did it with masks on, so it was yep. very very strange. Uh, life so and you know for for all the house workers it's something just not it's totally unprecedented that you would expect to have to deal with and all of a sudden it's just on you you've just yeah. got to deal with it it's right there so uh be interesting to see you know she's ever so clever Taylor yes. swift and yep you know very the, rooted and the bit about um the grandparent you know i mean obviously all our sort of grandparents yes. you know they've gone through that war and they were still grandparents and still lovely and out, you know, but they're carrying all that baggage around with them as well. That must have been a, quite a, a strange situation for your grandparents to be mm. in as well. Yeah. All right, mate. Looking forward to this. So Epiphany okay. Folklore, the Long Pond Studio Sessions. Let's do Indeed. it. Indeed. Uh, if you could hit the like button, uh, I really appreciate it. I Thank you very much. Uh, before we get into this. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I mean, wow, isn't it? I mean, it's just sort of amazing, really. Yep. I mean, when you hear the interview and then you actually, you know, it's a good call, Maddie. Uh, yeah. Not Maddie, Amanda, sorry. Amanda, sorry. Um, yeah. to, to, to make us do that first, because it yeah. just sets the tone of the song, it doesn't it? Scene, and you can see yep. the emotion in, you know, the piano player there um, and also Taylor. So, yeah. Um. I, have you ever heard the song? I've never heard the song before. I don't know it. No, I haven't um, heard it before. No, 
very stripped back, very raw, isn't it? You know, but again, we, we, we've obviously done some other Taylor Swift stuff where she's on stage or her videos and they're quite full on. Uh, mm. You know, here she's just, you know, simple, stripped back. Um, I, I love the studio setting. I mean, beautiful place. Mm. It must be great to go there, you know, be in that setting to sort of create new music, you know, stuff that you've never, nobody's ever heard before. It must be quite inspiring. Um, what did I have down there? Yeah, just, uh, again, never heard the song. I mean, um, your daughter and uh, your wife will soon be going. How long is that before they go in there? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a few months, yeah. I mean, okay, got, yeah. She's got the, uh, the Eris tour here in the That's UK, it. so yeah. they'll be off to they're going to go and see her live so uh, but she's very good at tapping into her emotions yes you know wh whether it's a song like this or whether it's one of her big songs um she just taps into the right emotion it gets people dancing it makes yep. people sad it makes people contemplate it, you know we, there are some of the songs that we've done it's just take she does take you more in a, the mind yeah. to, to yeah, that yeah. location so. Um, yeah, every every time we've sort of seen her, I, I've kind of gone, yeah, you know, wish I wish I could have the chance to go and see her now, you know. I think years back I probably would have been old Taylor Swift, but now you've seen her, you know she's a, a proper artist. So fair play. Thank you, Amanda, for bringing this one to our attention. Yes. All right, uh, let's keep going. With you I serve, with you I fall down. to breathe in love with you I serve with you I fall down down what you breathe in what you breathe Chanel. Very, very clever indeed. And amazing what you can do with just a piano, a guitar and a beautiful voice, isn't it? You know, didn't need anything yeah, else. Yeah, no, it didn't. No, I mean, it was spot on, wasn't it? I mean, her voice is just crystal clear, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, unlike the water in that little river uh, there. <laughs> but little yes. Creek. Um, little Creek. Track yeah, very, by very good. Here's Ricochet, written by... Okay. Uh, so there you go. Um, Amanda popped in, uh, became a Patreon and um, requested that. And we would probably have never heard of it if um, she hadn't brought it to our attention. No, so. this is it, isn't it? It's the same thing. Your Taylor's songs, you know, you don't, you personally don't really go for the album. It's what's, what I can hear. Obviously, my daughter yep. plays it and stuff like that. But, you know, what takes it that extra level is seeing the interview. It's understanding the yep. song. It's understanding what it meant for Story Amanda. behind it, yep. And... You know, then then there's a jigsaw there which you don't get when you just listen to it. So indeed, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, beautiful song. Um, never heard it before, and a beautiful setting. Look at that little log cabin out there in the middle of nowhere, with great things being created. All right, mate. Indeed. Score. You scoring it. I think so. Well, we have to because that's what we do for <laughs> fun. I think Indeed. it's an emotional side as well yep. written. Um, it's a difficult one 
It is a difficult one because we've done songs like this which are meant for a moment and they're meant for that emotional tie. So it's as far as a song and how it's sung, it's brilliant. Yep. But I'm not I'm not gonna go on and put something on that's gonna make me feel sad or bring back memory of, of but that's So I'm yeah. toyed. I would give it an eight point eight. Okay. Uh you toyed or you're torn? I'm toyed <laughs> as they okay. say in Ireland. <laughs> toyed. Um as you say, you know, for for the moment, for capturing what it, uh, the essence of and and the feeling and everything, it's a beautiful song. As you say, ooh, I'd have to be in uh, a strange place to put that one on. Sad place, I think. So, beautiful song. I'll go nine. There you go. Eight point nine. Eight point nine up there, nice. but it's a beautiful song. Which is which is a um, brilliant song. Yeah, it's very. And, uh, we know and a why very big you, meaning behind the person. So personal. That noise was because we had a subscriber. Wow. Oh, there you go. Hello. Ooh, subscriber. <laughs> there you go. Channel. Uh, thank you so much uh, to Amanda. Thanks to all you for watching us uh, today uh, with Taylor Swift. Let us know in the comments. Um, you know, I'm sure that meant a lot to a lot of a you. A lot actually. of people. Uh, yeah. Whether you're in different meanings for different people. Yes, different indeed. Different different people. Absolutely. Um, and you too could become a patron and uh, request your own. Uh, reaction from us too and we will get on and do it for you and also you can come along and check us out on a vip zoom call oh yes we do those too we all do the best uh until tomorrow bye from me yes bye from him you toy right? no. cheers i'm toyed i've told you before i'm toyed <laughs>